Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Today we are in Sabotitsa, Serbia and we are very excited to explore here because it is our last day here in this beautiful country. Sabotitsa has a population of around 103,000 people so it's one of the smallest cities in Serbia and it's located right at the border of Hungary which is why we decided to stop here on our way home from Novi Sad to Budapest. Yeah, what's interesting about the city is that I think it used to be part of the Austrian and Hungarian Empire and around 37% of people have Hungarian ancestry here. And I think a lot of people speak it as well. So I think in general, the city has a lot of influence from Hungary. We're excited to see what the city has to offer. I don't know if there's that much to do here, but we're gonna walk around and explore. And of course, we're gonna eat some food because this is our last day in Serbia and we wanna eat some more shivapi and borek. Subotica has a really cool town hall that was built in a style called Hungarian Art Nouveau and apparently was designed by two prominent architects from Budapest. It was finished in I think 1910 and it's very very unique. It's absolutely amazing like typically I'm more of a fan of gothic kind of style architecture but this kind of feels like that at the same time because it's yeah. really dark it's black and has these dark I guess reddish maroon colors as well and it's just really really beautiful like already walking into the city the architecture is very very nice especially since this is like a city of what a hundred thousand you said yeah i didn't expect 000. it from a city that's smaller like this to have so many really really cool buildings like this i love that i really like the creepy trees yeah they look like they're from a tim burton movie or something their arms all stretched out that looks really cool really creepy So of course we couldn't leave Serbia without having Borek one last time. We noticed that here in Sobotica they have this, which is pizza Borek, which I don't know, I don't remember seeing this anywhere in Belgrade or in Novi Sad, but maybe I'm wrong, but it sounded so unique that we couldn't pass it up. It seems like it has a different kind of cheese in it, maybe the Trappist cheese. It has mushrooms, ham, and it looks like obviously tomato sauce as well. So we're excited to try this out. It's quite different from the ones we've had so far. Mm. Mm. Oh my. Man, the steam is as amazing as it sounds. It does taste like pizza. It's got this sweet, tangy pizza sauce inside. Nice, gooey, melty cheese. And I love mushrooms as well. So, this is the perfect combination. There's in yeah, there's mushrooms in here as well. This is perfect. I don't know if this is. Well, no, it's definitely not very traditional, but. Serbians do love pizza, so I guess that's why this came about, but this is definitely a 10 out of 10 for me. I absolutely love this. It's a nice change from a normal verdict. Mm. It's so weird because it is so different. I think I like the traditional one more, but um, yeah, this is delicious. And like Brandon said, I don't know if this is a thing, but like what we've noticed in Serbia is that there's pizza restaurants everywhere and people walking around with pizza boxes and like it just seems like Serbians really, really, really love pizza. I don't know. That is one of the comments if that's the case, but this makes sense. Mm. We got another one with just mushrooms and cheese and I think this is also more like, I don't know, mozzarella or something. It's not the usual burek cheese. And of course we got some yogurt. Mm. This is really mushroomy. It's delicious. So it'll be good for people who are vegetarians, I suppose. They're also good. I'm gonna miss Burek. Mm. Not bad, but pizza one's definitely better because it's got the ham and tomato sauce in addition to the mushrooms. This one's just got mushroom. If I had to choose, I would choose the pizza one. We're suckers, we couldn't resist. We got popcorn for the third time in the third city in Serbia because Serbian popcorn is delicious. 
We actually got it from this guy. He was making it fresh right then and there. And he had a topping called Vigetta. Vigetta? I don't know how. He said it was like one of the most popular seasonings in the Balkans in general. And he called it like Serbian seasoning. So we had to get it. Also, he filled up the bottom of the bag like this is five guys or something like that. <laughs> full of popcorn as well. So amazing deal. And it was only 50 dinar? Yeah. Mm. It's just perfect. They're all perfect. We are obsessed with popcorn. Best snack and ridiculously cheap. Do you taste the seasoning? Mm, a little bit. I can't tell you what it tastes like though. But it's good. Definitely another thing I'm going to miss about Serbia. I think every country and every city should have popcorn in the streets like this. Mm. That seasoning is really nice. I just got one with loads of it. I don't know what it tastes like, but it's delicious. We're here at the Subotica Synagogue and this one is also built in the Hungarian Art Nouveau style and it looks super pretty. I think it won a competition or something like that. And it was finished in 1902 and it was therefore built during the Hungarian Kingdom. Kingdom of Hungary? I forgot. But it's the second largest one in Europe, after the one in Budapest. I didn't even know that the one in Budapest was the largest one, but this one's the second one. We actually live close to that one. <laughs> yeah. I love the tiling on these roofs. I mean, maybe that's part of what makes it this Art Nouveau style, but like these really colorful tiles. It's got like these mix of gold and green and yeah, it's just really, really pretty. <laughs> So this is the monument to fallen soldiers and victims of fascism. It's right next to the St. Teresa of Avila Cathedral or church, which looks like, I don't know, like a freaking earthquake happened and split it in two. It's got this big crack going all down the middle, which I must assume is recent because there's construction going on now. Not exactly sure what happened, but it looks crazy. It looks like something out of a movie, like it was almost split down the middle. Maybe somebody in the comments can let us know what happened. Oh yeah, wow. Couldn't even see it. I think, and this might be quite controversial, but I think I like Subotica better than Novi Sad. Not better than Belgrade though, but no. still much nicer than I thought. Because we watched maybe a video or two about the city and I don't think anybody really showed it that well. It's much more beautiful than I anticipated. Really nice architecture everywhere. Yes, it's very pretty. Visit for sure. We now came for dinner at a restaurant called Sarajevo, which technically is the capital of Bosnia. We've been in Bosnia before, but not to Sarajevo. And we have chevapi here, and we also got some sausage, because we couldn't leave Serbia without having chevapi one more time, because it's literally one of my favorite things. Let's try this. The bread is completely soaking almost, because I think it's fried, and they like dabbed it in fat, grease. It smells delicious though. Got some kaima. And they don't serve either. This kaimak is actually a lot more like stringy. It's a clotted cream in the UK. Yeah, it wasn't like this anywhere else. I'm excited about that. We also got some mustard, I don't know, I guess I put some on. Which they call zenfiu, just like in German. Eat this. Mmm. Mmm. You can't go wrong even if you put mustard on it. And the clotted cream is just so good. It's one of the best ones we've had. And this bread's delicious, the meat's delicious. I love it. I'm gonna miss this so much. So I think this bread is called lapinha because this is the same kind of bread that we had when we had that complete lapinha in the food video earlier. So this looks absolutely delicious. They also serve these, what I'm assuming is a hot pepper, which they have these in Hungary all the time. So maybe that's another influence from Hungary or maybe this is a Bosnian thing as well. I don't well, know. They call it paprika, I think, here. It seems like it's gonna be spicy. By the smell of it. It smells like those spicy ones in Hungary, so let's see. Mm. Mm. I ordered the sausage instead of the chivapi because we didn't want to get two of the same thing. It's really good. Let's start with the pepper. Mm. Is it spicy? It is one of those spicy peppers. Ooh, this is even spicier than the ones that I get in Hungary normally. The sausage is really meaty, really juicy. I get mine with chili flakes, but the combination with the chili flakes and the hot pepper, my mouth is a little bit on fire, but it's absolutely delicious. 
Mm. I really like the sausage. It's not like a German sausage or anything like that. It's I don't know what it's like, but like serving sausage. Like a plastic side. Is it? Well, I don't know. I feel like I've had this before, like this. They're like these little ones and they like burst open. So they look like little wieners. <laughs> little wieners that burst open. <laughs> yeah. But they're very, very yummy. The, the, the skin is not like snappy or anything like that, like with the German one. Let's try this. Maybe that was a mistake. I don't eat spicy food. Yeah, that's very spicy. If you don't like spicy, don't get the, the pepper. But yeah, this is delicious. All right, I'm gonna try the chapati now. Mm. I think it's a bit weird with ketchup. It kind of turns it into something else. I prefer it with the mustard, or I prefer it with the Ivar and Kaimak, how we had it before, but it's still really delicious. This is the end of our video. We love the time in Subotica, and tomorrow we're gonna go home. But we're gonna have one more video where we're gonna try a bunch of Serbian snacks. So make sure to stay tuned if you wanna watch that. And if you did like this video, please give it a like, write us a comment. And by far the most important thing is to subscribe and follow along for more videos. But that's it for now. We'll see y'all in the next one. Bye! Bye.